Hey guys, it's Mac G again. Uh, I haven't done a video since uh, a while ago, so I just wanted to give a little update first on what's been going on. I've been extremely busy with about a thousand projects, this being one of them. Um, so I do apologize for not being able to upload videos and re-upload some of the other ones. I, I haven't gotten around to it yet. Um, as I said, I've been busy, I've been kind of forced into doing some things, but it's okay. Uh, I just thought I should probably uh, make this little program first um, and release it. So this is uh, Orange Mark, and what it is, it's a reverse shell. And I'll be making a reverse root kit. <coughs> Sorry, I'll be making a reverse admin shell that just disables the UAC and it will give direct command line access, but it has a it has lots of commands inside of it. Unlike this, this is just a simple reverse shell. So let's start off here by starting a server. I'm gonna start on 4206969. Cause that's a hilarious port. Uh, okay, can't start on that. 42069. Okay. Uh, now we're going to create a stub. I'm going to put in the server IP address, which is going to be this. Um, or you can put in your DNS. And the port. 42069. Oh, got to put a name. I'm uh, going to put the name as. Uh, client one, and it just creates it. And of course, you can just type yes, and it should open up the shell, and it should bring up this. And of course, it's an exe. Uh, you can specify whether or not it's an exe or a dot bat, um, or you can just rename it. Either way. Let's go ahead and copy this. And bring it over here. I'm just gonna go ahead and run this. And it should disappear. And it'll give 18 seconds for uh, AVG to do its little scan, then after 18 seconds it should try to, uh, it'll start executing commands, like it'll copy itself to the startup directory, and it should start connecting, so if we can see up here, it says we've got one session, and that clients, you can see it's down here, so what we're going to want to do is that shell, and the uh, IP address, and the port, if uh, you want to type the port if there's multiple the IP addresses. If not, you can just type the IP address. And you press any key. And yeah, now you have a remote shell. And you can do if you want. It's a little bit slow, but that's just because my server is slow itself. And there you go. Um, Ready to play the game. Of course you can do, do cmd.exe. And it should so. start a command prompt. Up on now what it does is it tries to get the highest um, user account privilege. So if the account is on an admin, It'll, it'll be um, an admin command line, and you should be able to modify stuff like creating directories in this type of Okay. 
this. Okay, is again. By typing dash before each command. Uh, that's a one on the inside of the show. So, and this will only be when it's inside of a shell. You can tell me the program to get beat. And it just beeps like 26 hertz. Um, or you can do it. Terminate and terminate the program. Or uninstall. Uninstall. Ugh, uninstall. 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 And we're back here. Now there might be some glitches where it just randomly will stop working. And that's, that's okay. I understand that. And if you, if you find where it does that, you let me know. Uh, let me uh, go ahead and stop the server. Uh, maybe not. Maybe stop. I have to spike this back up. And this will stop the server anyway. When you uh, restart. And then you kick. Uh, with kicking, it'll, if you just type in a number, it'll scan through all the connected clients and all the sessions. And if it contains a 1 in the IP address, it will kick it. Basically, that's how it works. So if you want to kick a specific IP address or a specific um, client, do you have more than this one client a on, the, uh, on a network? Now, you, uh, you want to put the IP address on a port? Uh, I think that's about it. This is version 1, it's a little bit buggy, but uh, I just thought I should probably uh, make something. Because I haven't been, I have been extremely busy um, trying to do the rootkick and stuff. So, uh, all downloads will be in the description below. Uh, if you really want, I can release the um, source code and everything for it. Um, I mean, I, I just kind of finding it, find it a little bit annoying uploading it all, but if somebody really wants it, I will. I'll upload it. Um, and yeah, so thank you guys for watching, and stay tuned for whenever I release the next video.